Good morning all of you. How are you all? Okay, today we are going to start Mathematics Success Book 2. Now you have been promoted to class 2 from class 1. Good luck to all of you. Open your books at page 1. Write ordinal numbers from 1st to 20th. In the previous class, we had done ordinal numbers from 1 to 10th, 1st to 10th. Let's revise what are ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are used to tell the position of an object exactly. They tell the position of an object in a collection of objects when there are more than one objects and you want to know the position, you want to point out the position of the object, there we use ordinal numbers. Now, if you look at the boy standing in a row, just count how many boys are there in all. Start counting from one, two, three. Yes, move on, move on. 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, there are 20 boys in all and their names are also written there. Munib, Asan, Haris, Kamran. So to find out the position of these boys, can you tell me the position of Munib? Where is he standing? Starting from the, your left side, your left hand, Munib is standing on the first position. Yes. Can you tell me where Saqib is standing? Saqib is standing at the 8th position. Brilliant. Now where is Noor standing? She is standing at the 14th. No, Noor is the name of a boy. He is standing at 14th position. Can you tell me the position of Zan? Yes, he is standing at the 18th position. Position of Ashid is 20th. Now by looking at their positions and names, you can find out the exact location where they are standing. Similarly, let's move on to page 3. Write the correct position of each car. Now starting from the bottom, because the faces of the cars are at your left side. So we will start from there. First, second, third and so on. And the last card that is of blue color is at the 20th position. Now write the positions in numbers. You have to learn these numbers and their spelling by heart. Moving on to page 4. Counting in words. We have already done counting till 100 in numbers and now you can count it, these numbers in number words. For this you need to learn spelling. In your pre previous classes you have learned spellings from 1 to 20. Now you can always begin with 21, 22. If you know the spelling of 20 you can always write the other number, you already know the spelling of 1, 2, 3, 4. And similarly, when you come to 29, the next word change changes there and that is 30. So, learn it by heart, practice it with your teacher. There are pages given to practice, page number 6, page number 7 and page number 8. These three pages are there for you to practice learning your numbers and their number spelling. Moving on to page 9, the objective is numbers up to 1000. In your previous class, we have done ones. The smallest number of ones is 0 and the highest numbers of 1 is 9. Then if we put together 10 objects, that makes 110. That you very well know. Now if you look at the picture, there are 10 bars 
with 10 ones. Let's count the bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 bars. And how many objects are there in one bar? There are 10 objects. Let's count and verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, there are 10 objects. There are 10 units in one 10. And we have 10 bars here. If we put together these 10 bars, that makes 100. What is the greatest two-digit number? Can you tell me what is the greatest two-digit number? Yes, exactly. 99 is the greatest two-digit number. And after 99, when we write 100, how many digits are there in 100? Let's start counting. 1, 2, 3. So, 99 is the biggest, is the largest two-digit number. And 100 is the smallest three-digit number. Yes. Page number 10 is there to reinforcement your tens concept. Now, if you look at the picture, 110, one bar with 10 ones is given. So, that means 110. Then two bars, that means two tens, three bars, three tens, and so on. And then nine tens, that means 90. And 10 tens make 100. Say it out with your teacher. Coming to page 11, we move on to three digit numbers and hundreds. 100, now if you see, there are two blocks of 100 objects each. So 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Good. Page 12, numbers up to 999, the last three digit number. Okay, let's practice. These are the examples which are given for your uh, reference. Now, how many blocks of hundreds can you see in the first picture? There is one block of hundreds. That means 100. Can you see any bar of 10 blocks here? No, that is missing. There is no tens bar here. And how many ones are there? There is just one one. So that means 100, no tens, zero tens. And how many ones are there? One one. So that makes 101. Let's do the next one together. How many uh, boxes of 100 objects? Yes, one. How many bars of 10 Objects together, one bar and count ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what are you going to write under ones? How many ones are there? Nine. Always remember to start from your right side. Take out your right hand. Yes, this is your right hand. Start from your right hand side. So how many ones are there? Nine ones. How many ten bars are there? One bar of ten objects are there. And how many hundreds are there? One hundred. So that makes together one hundred and how do you read one ten and nine? 19. That makes 119. Practice the other sums with your teacher. Given on page 13. Let's look at the last example. Count boxes with 100 objects in each. Let's count 
yes. And how many bars of tens are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Good. And how many ones are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Exactly. So let's put them together. Starting from your right hand side. How many ones? 9 ones. How many tens? 9 tens. How many? Hundreds, nine hundreds. So together this makes nine hundred and ninety-nine. This is the largest, the biggest three-digit number. Okay. Move on to page 14. Fill in the blanks. Writing numbers from 401 to 500. Now some of the numbers are, are given. Rest you have to write yourself. Question number 2 states. Numbers from 901 to 999. Few numbers are given. Rest you have to write yourself. Take the help of your teacher. And start filling the blanks. With the missing numbers. Place value. Page 15 is just the reinforcement of the place value you have already done in class 1. First rod is for 1s and second is for 10s. This is the abacus. How many in the second picture, how many red beads are there in 1s rod? Let's start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And how many beads are there in tens rod? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that makes 4 tens and 6 ones. If we put together 4 tens and 6 ones, that makes 46. Try doing the rest of the sums yourselves, I'm sure you can do it pretty well because this is just a reinforcement of the previous pages. Thank you so much.